Hi friends, good evening. Once again, welcome back to my channel Mukambiga Nursing. Friends, here we are discussing questions for ESIC Nursing Officer Exam Preparation. ESIC exam is on 7th July. Also, these questions will help for your other nursing officer exam preparation. Here in this video, we can see previous year questions, also important questions. We can see the questions. First question, the abnormal condition in which the umbilical cord is inserted through the membranes of the placenta is known as. Options, option A, succinctrata, option B, battle door, option C, velamandus, option D, marginal. One of the cord abnormality, umbilical cord abnormality in which umbilical cord is inserted through the membrane of placenta. Cord is inserted through the membranes of the placenta is known as velamandus placenta. Velamandus placenta means the umbilical cord is attached to the membrane. Okay, here clear cut question cord is attached to the membrane is known as velamandus placenta. And the remaining options we can see in coming questions. Okay. Move on to the next question. The placental abnormalities in which a thin fibrous ring is present at the margin of the chorionic plate where the fetal vessels appears to terminate is called. Options. Option A. Circumvalid placenta. Option B. Placenta membrane. Option C. Placenta marginator. Option D. Battle door placenta. Here the question is one of the placental abnormality in which a thin fibrous ring okay thin fibrous ring is present at the margin margin of the chorionic plate so the fibrous ring is present at the margin of the chorionic plate where the fetal vessels appears to terminate okay that is known as placenta marginata option c is the correct answer this question was one of the placental abnormalities and the previous question was one of the umbilical cord abnormalities. Here we can see other options. First option circumvalid placenta. Circumvalid placenta means the fetal surface is divided into central and depressed zone. Okay. In circumvalid placenta, the fetal surface is divided into central and depressed zone which is surrounded by a thick white ring. This thick white ring is situated at varying distance of the placenta. Okay. But there is a thick white ring is there which is present at the margin of the placenta that is known as circumvalid placenta. And the other next option placenta membranes. In this, the placenta is excessively large and thin. Okay, the placenta is very big and thin. This placenta develops from chorionic frondosum and also it developed from the chorionic leaves. So, the whole ovum, whole fetus is covered by placenta that is known as placenta membranes. And the last option, battle door placenta. This is one of the cord abnormality. Cord abnormalities, velamandus placenta and battle door placenta are cord abnormalities. So the battle door placenta means the cord is attached to the margin of the placenta. In first question, we saw velamandus placenta. The in that the cord is attached to the membrane. Here, battle door placenta, the cord is attached to the margin of the placenta. And the next question, the placental abnormalities in which the accessory lobe is developed from the activated villi on the chorionic leaves is called options. Option A, circumvalid placenta. Option B, placenta membrane. Option C, placenta marginata. Option D, placenta succinctrata. Here the question is, one of the placental abnormality in which the accessory lobe is developed from the activated villi on the chorionic leaves is known as placenta succinctrata. That is one or more small lobes or small cotyledons are developed from the placental margin. Okay, already placenta is there. Small accessory lobe, extra lobe is developed from the margin of the placenta. That is known as placenta succinctrata. And the remaining options already we discussed in the previous question. And the next question, let down reflex is also known as 
ஆப்ஷன்ஸ் ஆப்ஷன் ஏ மில்க் இன்ஜெக்ஷன் ரிஃப்ளக்ஸ் ஆப்ஷன் பி மில்க் செக்ரீட்டிங் ரிஃப்ளக்ஸ் ஆப்ஷன் சி சக்கிங் ரிஃப்ளக்ஸ் ஆப்ஷன் டி ஸ்வாலோயிங் ரிஃப்ளக்ஸ் லெட் டவுன் ரிஃப்ளக்ஸ் ஆர் ஆக்சிடாக்சின் ரிஃப்ளக்ஸ் இஸ் ஆல்சோ நோன் அஸ் மில்க் இன்ஜெக்ஷன் ரிஃப்ளக்ஸ் ஸோ மில்க் இன்ஜெக்ஷன் ரிஃப்ளக்ஸ் இஸ் ஆல்சோ நோன் அஸ் லெட் டவுன் ரிஃப்ளக்ஸ் ஆர் ஆக்சிடாக்சின் ரிஃப்ளக்ஸ் மில்க் இன்ஜெக்ஷன் ஹார்மோன் இஸ் ஆக்சிடாக்சின் விச் இஸ் ப்ரொடியூஸ்ட் வைல் தி ரிஃப்ளக்ஸ் இஸ் அக்கர்ஸ் ஓகே ஸோ லெட் டவுன் ரிஃப்ளக்ஸ் இஸ் ஆல்சோ நோன் அஸ் மில்க் இன்ஜெக்ஷன் ரிஃப்ளக்ஸ் அண்ட் தி நெக்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் மோஸ்ட் காமன் காம்ப்ளிகேஷன் ஆஃப் இசிடி இஸ் ஆப்ஷன்ஸ் ஆப்ஷன் ஏ சைக்கோசிஸ் ஆப்ஷன் பி டிப்ரெஷன் ஆப்ஷன் சி ரெட்ரோகிரேட் அம்னீஷியா ஆப்ஷன் டி ஆண்ட்ரோகிரேட் அம்னீஷியா அர் கொஸ்டின் விச் இஸ் தி மோஸ்ட் காமன் காம்ப்ளிகேஷன் ஆஃப் இசிடி இலெக்ட்ரோ கன்வெல்சிவ் தெராப்பி மெமரி லோஸ் இஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் தி காமன் காம்ப்ளிகேஷன் அக்கோர்ஸ் இன் இசிடி எமங் திஸ் ரெட்ரோகிரேட் அம்னீஷியா இஸ் தி காமன் காம்ப்ளிகேஷன் ஆஃப் இசிடி ரெட்ரோகிரேட் அம்னீஷியா மீன்ஸ் the patient can't able to recall the memories of his past past memory he can't able to recall that is retrograde amnesia andrograde amnesia means the person or patient can't form new memories but he can able to recall his past okay so that is the difference of retrograde and andrograde amnesia and the next question which of the following food would the nurse eliminate from the diet of a client in alcohol withdrawal and our options option a milk option b orange juice option c tea option d regular coffee our question among the following which food item should the nurse remove or eliminate from the diet of a client with alcohol withdrawal if the client is having alcohol withdrawal symptom then which food item should be eliminate from the diet it is regular coffee option d patient should not take coffee or caffeine rich food items on to the next question the theory of apparent conditioning was experimented by options option a william james option b ivan pavlo option c b f skinner option d louis pasteur our question who experimented the theory of apparent conditioning in apparent conditioning the learning occurs by a particular action or a type of behavior followed by a reward it was experimented by b f skinner in a hungry in a group of hungry rats that is a rewarded behavior is repeated according to b f skinner the rewarded behavior will be repeated okay move on to the next question the defense mechanism which returns to the earlier developmental stages options option a regression option b repression option c projection option d displacement Yeah, the question is which type of defense mechanism turns or returns the person to earlier or from the childhood development stage and the correct answer is it is a regression option a is the correct answer a regression means when a person is unable to adjust in a stressful situation or in a conflicting situation in his life what the person will do is he will revert or he will change to childish level of behavior okay this will help to protect himself from particular stress situation or reduce his painful or distressing or conflicting situation so this kind of behavior that is childish behavior is called a regression here the question the person defense mechanism which returns to earlier development stage or the person is goes to the childish level of development stage is known as a regression second option a repression a repression is also a type of defense mechanism in which the person is consciously put his unwanted thoughts memories or painful situations or his desires into unconscious mind okay conscious thing he is forcing into his unconscious mind and the next option projection projection means 
consciously or unconsciously blaming other people for own mistake okay and the last option displacement displacement is also a type of defense mechanism in which a person displays his anger or his feeling or his tension against in a workplace and it is showing to his children or it is showing to his wife okay that is displacement showing his anger to other person move on to the next question senel vaginitis is caused by options option a increased fsh level option b estrogen deficiency option c progesterone deficiency option d lh deficiency senel vaginitis is caused due to the deficiency of estrogen option b is the correct answer move on to the next question drug of choice for the management of vaginal trachomoniosis is option option a prostaglandins option b oxytocin option c gentamicin option d metronidazole our question which drug is used for the treatment of vaginal trachomoniosis vaginal trachomoniosis which cause vaginitis and the drug of choice is, is metronidazole option d Move on to the next question. A localized edema or collection of fluid on the fetal scalp that develops during the labor is known as options. Option A. Molding. Option B. Caput succedinum. Option C. Cephal hematoma. Option D. None of this. Our question. A localized edema or collection of fluid on the fetal scalp which occurs during the time of labor. it is known as caput succedinum option b is the correct answer this caput succedinum will disappears within 24 hours after birth how it formed is while the head will descend the head will come in contact baby's fetus head will come in contact with dilated cervix or bony structures or vulval ring this may cause interference of venous return and lymphatic drainage of the scalp and stagnation of fluid and appearance of swelling over the scalp this is called a caput succedinum and it will disappear 24 hours after birth and option c cephal hematoma the cephal hematoma is the collection of blood between the pericranium and the flat bones of the skull okay this is known as cephal hematoma it is mainly due to a rupture of small veins from the skull or associated with fracture of skull bone that is known as cephal hematoma first option molding molding is the alteration of the shape of forcoming head while passing through the resistant birth passage during labor that means it is the alteration of shape of the fetal head while passing through the birth canal that is known as molding and the next question what is the main function of hypoglossal nerve options option a vision and sensation option b hearing and smell option c swallowing and speech option d sensation and hearing question the main function of hypoglossal nerve there are 12 pairs of cranial nerve in our body in this hypoglossal nerve is 12th cranial nerve and its main function is swallowing and speech option c is the correct answer hypoglossal nerve is a type of motor nerve which is originate from medulla oblongata and it supplies the muscles of the tongue and its main function is swallowing and speech and the next question in which part of the breast the mandibular gland is situated options option a near the base of the nipple option b alveolar of the lobule option c around the lactiferous duct option d lactiferous sinus our question mandibular gland is situated in which part of the breast it is near the base of the nipple option a is the correct answer move on to the next question the oxygenated blood from the body via superior and inferior vena cava is received in options option a left atrium option b right ventricles option c right atrium option c left ventricles 
Our question Deoxygenated blood from the body That is through superior In picture we can see Through superior and inferior vena cava It is coming to a right atrium So impure blood is coming to a right atrium Through a right atrioventricular wall It passes through the right ventricle In picture we can see The blood flows through the right ventricle From the right ventricle Through pulmonary artery it goes to lungs for purification. After purifying through left pulmonary veins, it blood came to left atrium. Okay, from the left atrium, it goes to left ventricle. From there, through aorta, all the part of the body, bloods purified, bloods will pumps. So here our answer is right atrium option C is the correct answer. And the next question, which chamber of the heart eject oxygenated blood into the general circulation? Options, option A, left atrium, option B, right ventricles, option C, right atrium, option D, left ventricle. And direction of blood flow through the heart as we already saw in the picture. So, oxygenated blood goes into the general circulation through left ventricle. That is through aorta, blood pumps into the whole body or bloods go into the general circulation from left ventricles and the next question which wall prevent backflow of blood into the left atrium options option a aortic wall option b permanic wall option c tricuspid wall option d mitral wall the wall which is present between left atrium and left ventricle is Mitral wall, mitral wall or bicuspid wall which prevent backflow of blood into left atrium. So, here the correct answer is option D, mitral wall. Move on to the next question. Tricuspid wall is located between options. Option A, right atrium and right ventricles. Option B, left atrium and left ventricles. Option C, left ventricles and aorta. Option D, left atrium and right ventricles. Our question, tricuspid valve is located between right atrium and right ventricles. Option A is the correct answer. There are mainly four walls in the heart. They are two atrioventricular walls and two semilunar walls. Firstly, atrioventricular walls we can see. First one, tricuspid wall which is located between a right atrium and a right ventricles. And second one, mitral wall which is also known as bicuspid wall. It is located between left atrium and left ventricles. So, two atrioventricular walls are tricuspid wall and mitral wall. Mitral wall is also known as bicuspid wall. And two semilunar walls. The two semilunar walls include pulmonary wall which is located between a right ventricles and pulmonary artery. And aortic wall which is located between left ventricles and aorta. Here our question is tricuspid valve is located between a right atrium and a right ventricles. So far we discuss questions from previous year question papers. Surely these questions and important points will helpful for your studies. If it is useful for your studies, please share my videos to your friend circle.